Just like on an edible pizza, the garnishes on your felted pizza add a lot of pizzazz. I'll start by showing you how to make chili flakes. First, I pull off a teeny tiny wisp of white fiber. Then, I wad it up in my fingertips and lay it on the pizza. To attach it, I stab it with the felting needle three or four times. Don't overstab it, otherwise it might disappear inside your pizza slice. I try to position my little dots where they'll be visible on the red sauce or maybe on a pepperoni or up on the crust. Now I'll use my brick red fiber. This is the same color as the pepperoni. I pull off a little teeny wisp and then I felt it right next to the white. Everywhere you felted a little white dot, add a companion that's dark red. That's what makes it look like the chili flakes. Here's a slow-mo instant replay. You can see I really only used two or three stabs to attach the little wad. Sprinkling a little green herbs onto the dish is a classic chef's trick to make food look more appetizing. The same thing applies for the felted pizza. I've got a little piece of green felt and I'm cutting it into a really thin strip. Then I take that strip and start to cut it into little pieces of confetti. The confetti tends to fly all over the place. To make it more secure, stab it onto the pizza slice with a few stabs of the felting needle. It helps me to hold the tiny piece of green on with my fingernail for the first couple stabs. Just like an edible pizza, the chili flakes and the herbs added a lot of flavor to my slice. Continue your pizza adventure by choosing another video and making another topping. Happy felting!